Mark Todd, congratulations on another Olympic selection. Um, we've just been trying to work it out, and uh, can you explain why this is actually number 10? Uh, well, actually, if, if you count uh, the fact that I was selected for Moscow, and uh, but New Zealand boycotted, and so we then went to the alternative Olympics at Fontainebleau, and then in uh, 2004 I went to Athens as team trainer for the New Zealand team, that makes up number 10, but, you know, it's only a number really, isn't it? Did you think all those years ago when you went to your first that you'd be um, looking to compete um, at, or get, travel to your number 10th Olympics? No, never. I mean, uh, when you get selected, uh, when I was selected for Moscow and then didn't get to go, I was really disappointed because you sort of think at the time, my God, this is the, might be the only opportunity I ever have to go. And so then to get to LA was, um, you know, an absolute bonus. Uh, but never did I dream that I would be still doing it all these years later. And we're here at a training day. Um, Leo is looking incredible. We've just seen you do your dressage test, but how does he feel? Uh, he's feeling amazing. He's, he, he's in such good form at the moment. Um, and our, one of our leaders that runs at Barbary, um, he was a bit wild. Um, he hadn't had a, a run since badminton because uh, a couple of other runs had been canceled. Um, so I'm actually gonna take him to Aston the Walls this weekend and give him another run around there. Um, he just feels so amazing. He just needs to have the lid put on him a little bit. And going to this Olympics, obviously you've taken quite a few horses to other Olympics, one being Charisma. How does Leo compare to other horses you've sat on at, at games? Um, you know, they're all, they're all different. I mean, this horse, he's really, really talented. Um, and it's just, you know, me being able to ride him in the right way. I mean, he's got all the ability in the world. Um, if we can get his head in the right place, you know, he's, he's a very, very good horse. And finally, how's your Portuguese? Well, although I've been sort of to Brazil quite a few times and look after the um, uh, Brazilian team a bit, my Portuguese is, is very poor, I'm afraid. Uh, it sort of runs for about bon dia and that's about it. Can you order beer? Well, of course you can do that, yeah, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, um, Kaiper Oscar.